the live mascot of the Razorbacks working on a Sunday, as are we. The berm will be full. Great crowd. For, yeah, for game two in a series for Arkansas, they have a couple of different freshman lefties that they... Kinsey Donahue, the OU transfer, went deep, had one of the big hits in yesterday's game for the Lady Vols. Malloy in that leadoff spot. She has so much speed, plus the addition of that power. In the air to left field, Reagan Kramer is there. A long 10 pitch. Scored one of the runs yesterday for Tennessee and their three. Two, two pitch from Hannah Kamenzin. Left field once again. Towards the line. No, sir. Boo Gibson, first baseman for the Lady Vols. Raised her. And a hit by pitch of Gibson gives the Lady Vols a two out. And an RBI single. Played umpire trying to work inches off the plate instead of missing on. Not hit. To the right side, Foreman gathers. Gets it to Halverson to the circle for Tennessee. Transfer from Bowling Green State University, Peyton Gotcha. And she was a Mac pitcher. Already changed her lineup a bit today. Shuffled around everybody except really the. And now I have no eraser. But that's why we don't use pen to do the lineups before we. And a strikeout for Gotcha to begin the game. Just being able to change. Topeka, Kansas native, 0 for 2 with a walk in the opener yesterday. Game 1 here yesterday. Strike 3 paints the inside corner. And Peyton near the Florida line, 19 homers. It's tight. Record of 57, that's in the air, center field. Kiki Malloy has this measured. Wynn pushes it to her left, she drifts along with it. Series that they had to host at their regional too. So lost to James Madison, who was the center of 21. Hit by pitch of West, and then of course. Uh, Julia Katsoyanopoulos, the catch. Katsoyanopoulos grounds it softly to short. Rio fires to first, and with that stretch, Halverson will get Katsoyanopoulos three seasons there. Now that we're talking about it. Slow roller to third. Hanny Gamble looks the runner back to second. And it's who at first. Crowded. The times a game because there's 100 pitches out there and so much routine. Field for Taylor and Rodriguez in the lineup as the DP. And she takes strike three. And freshman Anna Kamenzen works around that leadoff hit by pitch. On that, that Arkansas has been ranked 74 weeks. People can crunch it. Foul ground, first base side, and right near the steps to the dugout. At the numbers that Matt Michael can look at, whether it's scheduling, RPI, or just... Far from here. So that's why he was very willing and happy to come to Fayetteville and be a part of Courtney's staff. Christina can be kind of an X factor for Arkansas down the stretch here. Have And she works a walk. That is the first base runner for the Razorbacks today. Two out. For to have people like Christina Foreman and Kylie Halverson, two transfers into the. Casey Hoffman. Belts this one left center field and a line drive off or out. It is gone. For the fence, it gets over. And a bullet off the bat of Hoffman, two-run shot, and it's the Razorbacks. It looks score and first. sounds different coming off of her bat. Did you hear it? Like, I mean, it just she hits the ball so hard in BP and game. The ball was blistered. Lauren Cammons in, pops it up on the infield, and the catch made by Donahue. A little two-out magic for Arkansas. The aspect of their offense is attack mentality that has been relentless at the plate. Just let it go in one ear and out the other. Back to the circle. And Andy Cammons in, throws out Brockenbrough. It's sharply past the shortstop, Rio into left field. And Malloy has the first hit of the game for Boutet, ground ball, 
Second base, Foreman's play is at first. Stinning. Two out of walk, and it extends the inning. It's become too much on the plate, especially against the middle of this order for Tennessee that has so much power. Win streak for Tennessee. Gets it up in the breeze in right field. That's going to blow all the way out there to Casey Hoffman and almost nine one and two hitters for the Hogs and Italia Rio, the shortstop, leading off. Ball's hitting the air out to shallow center field. Malloy coming in. I want everybody off to make the catch. So let's show. A little bit confused on the play, if we're going to be honest, but takes away from that incredible throw. Ready, ready. Which you cannot do after a ruling has been video ruled on. Close, safe. There's the speed of Reagan Johnson getting down the line. He's so fast, so hard to throw out. Safe. Up. Reagan Kramer called out on strikes in her first at bat. On a two-run home run from Casey Hoffman in the second inning. That's to the right side of Drew Gibson. And he moves over to snag that for out number two. It wasn't preceded by what you normally expect, arguing, not uh, allowed after a ruling. Another liner to first. This one hit a little harder. Gibson, same play, makes the catch to retire the side. We'll we're in that Tennessee dugout. If you're in their pregame talks, postgame, like it. Left field, Kramer to her left as well. I think too, if you're just a softball fan, or maybe you just tune in. We played in the Women's College World Series last year. Floated towards right, diving catch. Christina Foreman leaves her feet to come up with the second. Who is the 16th different hitter that Arkansas pitcher Hannah Cammon. Easy, soft contact. Towards the hole and through. Kinsey Donahue with a sharp single to left. Called out looking her first time up. Texas Judson High School. Towards first! Oh, what a great effort by Kylie Halverson. Came up and then. Third base, Scammell has time. Rosan Rodriguez retired the side. like the rest of the team feeds off of her. Right field, and then the wind's going to direct it towards the right fielder, Brockenbro. Pitchers have definitely stepped up in this series. Off the end of the bat, wax it over the head of the shortstop, Donahue, and into left field, and Foreman reaches again. Well, Hoffman coming up, who hit the line drive home run her first time up. That's going to bring Karen. CC tournament in a couple of weeks here. Gottschall wins the battle that time, up and in, and a strike. The SEC tournament right here on this field. Brockenbro softly hit, getting down the line, and beats it. Brock it got the hit. And it's a very similar situation, what we're seeing here. So Gibson reaches base for who is going to run it first. So you got Susan and Allen on base. Tying runs on base for Pooney. Pony to left, off the glove of Kramer. Here comes the tying run for the plate. Allen is in safely. There, I thought Reagan Kramer out in left field had a chance to make that play. It hit off of her glove, and what an at bat by Zeta Pony, who's ball was just high enough. It caused an issue, and there's the ground ball to end the inning off the bat of West. But Zeta Pony. Couple of games, huh? I loved it. It, it. It's high level softball from two really good teams, Tennessee. Think about tomorrow. Tomorrow. We need to win today. It's a great start. This is her sister, Lauren Cammons, in who hits it in the air to shallow left center field. Long run, but stays up long enough for Riley West to track it down. Tennessee will go home and face South Carolina next weekend. Two outs. Another play for West. Wynn knocking it down. And she had to come racing in. The SEC turn. Liner! 
Kinsey Donahue in the right place. Good in the circle this year with runners in scoring position, too. I was looking at her here. In the air to right field. Right there in the corner by Hoffman. The wind has he said her last time up. And a solo home run in yesterday's Tennessee. A walk and four strikeouts. It's down the left field side and Gamble. Great diving catch in foul territory. And a clean or just something where she'd feel like they were on the same page and quickly came out there after that. Dells ready to go with a 2-0 pitch to Rodriguez. Slow grounder. Gamble lets Rio the shortstop take it, and she fires to first. Two, three, and four hitters for the Hogs. Reagan Kramer. Up to short left, goes. Donahoe gave way at the last moment, and down. A ball that dropped in no man's land. Uh, is it double? Gets under it. Out to left field, Riley West. Kramer bluffs it out and fly to right. Tennessee. Yeah. Really good plate appearance for Gamble, who fell behind in the count, but works a walk, and it's two on. Halverson up late in this game. Not a lot of opportunities that you've had to score. Time for a timeout. Even Megan Rose Smith, the pitching coach, felt it. Came out from the dugout. From Peyton Gottschall. Center field, deep, gone! Arkansas back in front. So it's supposed to be on the outside corner and it just ended up right down the middle of the plate. And you could tell within that at bat, Halverson started to get more and spark that they needed. Foreman, deep center, it's back to back. Christina Foreman, you could tell that she is just getting hotter as the season goes yeah. out of here. But this one, even despite the wind blowing hard to right field, just continued to carry out of here. And Carlin Pickens a start in each of the three games, and they also have some pitchers be to open the scoring in the second. So much power right here. Short right coming in. Brock and Bro makes the catch for the second out. Red transfer from Arkansas. They lost three to one to the Aggies. Shallow left and it drops. O'Reilly got a head for second base as it kicked away. Rio 0 for 2 today. Created. First base stabbed by Boo Gibson, who steps on to retire the side. If the Hogs go back, visiting number three, South Carolina. That's coming up next on ESPN. Make this comeback. Yeah. Softly hit, and she's going to beat this out easily. No throw from Gamble. That's the way Tennessee wanted it. to make this comeback. Single back. In yesterday's game, in that complete game that she threw. Overthrow. Left side, diving stop, real, but doesn't have anywhere to go with it. Blair Boutte. Couple of. Sharply hit. They got it. Off the glove of Rio. I think if she comes up with that, her only even put together quality at bats, and now one of your best home run hitters at the plate. Yeah. High fly, left center field. It's going to stay in the park. It's caught by Reagan Johnson. The lead two runners tag, scoring from third base. Perhaps it was going to tie the game, but it stayed in on the grass for the first down. Well, you talked about. Seven home runs for Zeta. Pooney hits it to left, shallow, but it's going to be caught along the line by Kramer. Malloy tags, throw comes home. A one-hop throw. Now, the person O'Reilly West 
With the Lady Vols down to their... <laughs> to first. Halverson steps on. This series tied at a game apiece. We'll have a rubber. Still needing two wins to clinch the regular season title in the SEC for the Lady Vols.